I don't get how you can say Majora's Mask is better than Ocarina of Time. Ocarina is obviously the best Zelda game. I'm surprised you can stay awake playing such a boring game. What makes MM so much better than Ocarina? Better atmosphere, better music, better gameplay. The better question is, what does MM not have that's better than Ocarina? You're goddamn delusional if you think MM has better gameplay. Have you tried to turn around with Z-targeting? And whose bright idea was it to make the Great Fairy Sword obtainable after beating the last dungeon? What the hell are you supposed to even use it for? Nobody cares about the Great Fairy Sword, Joe. And you can get the Gilded Sword after the second dungeon anyway. Have fun being unable to block with the Biggeron Sword against Stalfos. The Biggeron Sword is much more iconic than the Gilded Sword. I don't see the Gilded Sword dropping from an amiibo in Breath of the Wild. Whatever, Joe, I hope you enjoy doing an annoying trading quest every playthrough for a sword that will help you kill bosses 10 seconds faster. Just use Power Crouch Stab or ISG with the Master Sword for fuck's sake. Whatever, bitch, you're just mad that Ocarina has way better dungeons than MM. Yeah, if by better you mean when used as a sleeping aid, then I guess it does. I love running around the poorly lit Shadow Temple while coma-inducing music plays non-stop. You're so full of shit, Donald Great Bay Temple is a garbage dungeon with controls that function worse than an alcoholic's liver. Sounds like a skill issue to me. Zora swimming is the most fluid and satisfying thing in any Zelda game to date. Hey guys, what's up? I'm just telling Sleepy Joe over here how much better MM is than Ocarina. It's pretty embarrassing. Shut the hell up, Donald. You and the five remaining people still playing MM can go have a circle jerk about it. Well, for what it's worth, I think Wind Waker is the best Zelda game. Oh boy, you're one of those people. What the hell, man? I thought I could trust you. Well, I really like the art style. It holds up even to this day. The music is fantastic, and there are so many charming characters. I especially enjoy the dungeons, especially the Wind and Earth temples. Going through the dungeon with Medley and Makar introduce interesting and unique puzzles. All in all, I think it makes for a really enjoyable experience. Holy shit, get a load of this guy. He actually thinks that the Earth Temple had unique puzzles. Have you never played MM? Shining light on the mirrors and having them shoot a giant beam of light was already in Stone Tower Temple, except it didn't take an eternity because you don't have to deal with possessing Medley's stupid ass over and over again. Barack, I can't believe you could call Wind Waker an enjoyable experience. Sailing the Great Sea for 99% of the game while staring at nothing but water is the opposite of an enjoyable experience. Yeah, for real. Forget Sleepy Joe, if I had to sail the Great Sea one more time to fish up a Triforce shard, I'm going to become Sleepy Donald. I'm leaving.